Hey guys, it's Sharani here from the Center for Soulful Relationships and welcome back to our second Facebook Live for the month of September 2018. Today I want to chat with you a little bit about communication. So if you ever find yourself experiencing communication challenges, this video is going to be for you. I think it's also gonna be a short and sweet one. So most of the times um, I hear actually at the Center for Soulful Relationships, we work a lot with couples who are experiencing communication challenges. And what we know is most of the time people say it's communication challenges um, when they call and really there's greater, deeper things that are going on. And those greater and deeper things that are going on when someone says that they're feeling like they're experiencing a communication communication challenge is they're experiencing um, usually a sense of not feeling heard, not feeling understood, not feeling valued. And so the next time you find yourself experiencing a communication challenge, stop and ask yourself, you know, where or in what ways am I not feeling um, seen or heard or understood or valued? Or if someone says to you that they're feeling like there's a, a miscommunication or a communication um, gap and they're not feeling like, you know, the communication is being effective, ask again, pause and ask yourself, where might you not actually be seeing the other person or hearing the other person or valuing the other person or understanding the other person or what they might be saying to you. And so, yeah, that feels important to talk about first before diving any further into um, the communication issues thing. So with that piece said, it's also important to note that communication comes in many different ways, shapes, and forms. Communication comes not only in the way that we verbally talk, the things that we say, um, the way that we say them, um, it also is nonverbal. So how am I communicating with you in the way that I look at you? We all have, um, you know, this new, uh, what do you call it? The resting bitch face, the RBF, right? Most of us are familiar with that term today. And so, hi, Keisha, thanks for joining us. And so most of us are familiar now with that term RBF or resting bitch face, right? That is a nonverbal communication. And so when you're just sitting still or when you're listening to somebody, think what might my face be expressing to them or sometimes the face and I know I can do this sometimes sometimes I'll be in a conversation with someone and I'm not understanding what they're saying and then all of a sudden my face has like an inquisitive look like and then the other person can see that I am having like a, a look of I don't understand or when I'm sitting in front of a client sometimes I can see my client start to have this face and I can ask you you know, I can know right away like hey I'm curious what thoughts you're having right now or share with me what you're thinking because I can see that you're thinking and um, so those are some of the nonverbal ways that we communicate other nonverbal ways that we communicate are in our stance and in our positioning you know when I'm having an interaction with someone am I hunched over like this and like making myself small am I standing really big and tall and puffed up uh, both of those being stances of protection because there's the one that's over here and wants to be small and then there's the big and puffed up um, stance and both of them are uh, a protective stance or am I having a neutral stance? Am I just kind of like present and here and listening? And also, am I facing you? Am I leaning in to hear more? Or am I leaning back like as a, ooh, I don't want to hear anymore or I don't want closeness here? Um, if I am communicating via a hug, am I going to give you like a nice tight grip? Or am I giving you like the one shoulder pat from way over here? Yeah, so those are some of the non additional nonverbal ways that we communicate. 
Other nonverbal ways that we communicate are in the ways that we dress and express ourselves in that nonverbal way in the world. You know, most of the time you guys see me, I've got, you know, some sort of jewelry on, I've got some sort of pretty flowy shirt. That's how I choose to express myself in this world. Uh, it's interesting, I was having a conversation with my partner recently. He's like, why do you wear those flowy shirts? I'm like, because that's how I choose to express my femininity in the world, um, is with those, you know, nice flowy clothes. My office mate also, you know, added, um, she goes, you know, on those flowy clothes, they also give like a nurturing maternal quality. Again, really in touch with some of those sacred feminine aspects within myself and so those are additional ways that we communicate now are we always dressing up in like you know baggy oversized clothes that don't fit us or are we always trying to keep ourselves really like sandwiched in tight wearing really tightly zippered up clothes you know that might also be communicating something about you and the way that you are moving through the world or how you are choosing to communicate who you are with others and with the world so yeah so there's the verbal what I'm actually saying and how I'm saying it and then there's a whole plethora of non-verbals. It's all the space between the lines. And most of the times where we get ourselves into trouble is not necessarily in the words that we actually say, it's in what we don't say. So it's if your partner is having a conversation with you and you're giving your partner this look of you're stupid, then you don't have to say anything, your look or your nonverbal communication has spoken volumes already. Or if you're in an interaction with someone, um, maybe in a new situation and you're sitting in the corner cowering, well, that person may not approach you because you're giving off a stance of don't want to be approached. And so those are some of the important things to think about and consider when we think about communication. And so again, circling back to what I mentioned at the beginning of the, today's live video is when we are in communication with others, most of the times it's not feeling heard, not feeling understood, not feeling seen, and not feeling valued. Those are where these miscommunications come from. And so one really helpful way for you to evaluate, you know, kind of what is the world reflecting back to you when you are in these communications is it's important to stop and take an inventory of yourself. Oh, does my posturing and my position match the words that are coming out of my mouth? Do my facial expressions match the information I'm either sharing or receiving? Um, I know sometimes, you know, people can be yelling at you and they're really mad at you, but they're like smirking and have a grin on their face. And that is like a really confusing message, right? Or they're saying one thing and their actions are um, portraying something else. And that's another really confusing place to be in. So if you are ever experiencing any sort of communication challenges, it's important again to just pause, take a step back and ask yourself, is everything matching up? Is everything in alignment? Do my words and my unspoken, you know, communication match up? And if they're not matching up, how can I amend that? Or how can I correct that? And so, yeah, those are my tips and suggestions for you today as it relates to communication. Now, if you're here local to Silicon Valley and you are interested in sitting in a deep and healing space and potentially with your partner or even on your own, reach out to us and see how our relationship therapists here can help you learn how to get your communication, both those verbal and nonverbal communications, to match up and line up so that you can feel more heard and seen and understood and valued in your life and in your relationships. So 
Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, feel free to pop them into the comments below. And um, I hope you found this useful. I'll be back again on the second Wednesday of October, whatever date that is. And as a reminder, we do these on the second and fourth Wednesdays of the month at 1230 p.m. Pacific time. So join us. Glad you were here. Thank you to those who were live. And again, if there's any way that we can support you in getting your communication in alignment, whether it be so that the world can reflect back to you a sense of alignment or whether it be in your partnership together with your partner, please feel free to reach out so that we can see how our relationship therapists here at the Center for Soulful Relationships can help support you in that process. Thanks again and have a really great rest of your day. Bye.